What's going on YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Today we have a product from ASIO. It is their MK Retro typewriter inspired mechanical keyboard. So at first glance, presentation for this keyboard is very nice on the left side of the keyboard as it's facing to you they have a little print of the actual keyboard on the back side you have some literature and some specs so you have the mk retro typewriter mechanical keyboard up here a nostalgic classic reborn with modern innovations fit for comprising literary masterpieces whoa sounds like something tarantino wrote the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Okay, okay, I know that's not something Tarantino wrote. He got that out of the Bible. But when I read that first line, that's what came into my head. So I played that. Um, that's just where my brain went. I know I'm weird like that, but work with me. Introducing the ASIO MK Retro, a typewriter inspired mechanical keyboard. Curvilinear chrome trim, high contrast glossy surface, tubular LED lights, each carefully curated to capture our modern iteration of vintage. Handcrafted round keys with clicky mechanical switches combined to bring you reminiscent of old school typewriters, but with the precision of modern mechanical keyboards. Whoever wrote that probably wrote it on this keyboard. So the specs on this keyboard, this model, the MK Retro 02, it has a USB interface. The mechanical switch is blue. The cord length is a six foot braided cord. Key rollover, full NKRO operating system. For this one, the operating system that it supports is Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, and 10. So if you're a Windows guy or girl, this keyboard is strictly dedicated to you. There's another version on that ASIO makes if you're into the typewriter mechanical keyboard that works for Windows and Mac. So now let's open this box up and see what this mechanical keyboard actually looks like. We happy? Yeah, we happy. What? Okay, so I got, let me pull all this stuff out. That's what it looks like. So I got the white and gold version. Six foot braided cable on the back. Very nice, clean look. Let me take this plastic off so I can see exactly how this thing looks. Okay, so in the box you have the keyboard itself, a troubleshoot card, a cleaning cloth, the user guide. You also get a wrist pad just in case um, you're at your keyboard for a long period of time, you don't start developing carpal tunnel. Is that right? I don't know. You probably still will develop carpal tunnel. Funny, I was thinking the same thing. So the different colors that, that the MK Retro comes in, it comes in a all black, it comes in the white and gold, as you can see right here. It comes in a white and silver, a black and red, a black and fuchsia. I don't know if that's fuchsia, but that's, what I thought of when I saw it. So if it's not fuchsia, leave a comment down below. A black and gold and a white and pink. All links will be in the description down below. So right now, this product is going on Amazon for $110. You want it, I got it. If I ain't got it, I'm gonna get it. So get it while the getting's good. As you look at this keyboard, it has a very nostalgic look. It has the clicky, hear that? very clicky keys to remind you of a typewriter it's not like that but you push the button and you actually feel that foot or that ink pad smack the paper is you don't get that but you do get the same clicky sound as your old 
typewriters. I don't know how old you are, whoever you are that's watching this video, if you're old enough to remember using a typewriter, I barely do. I think my parents might have had some a typewriter stored away in their closet when I was younger. Never used it, just moved it around to get to something else. So up here on the top right, you do have the tubular LED lights right here and they have the letters above them so you know that um, there's a number lock, a caps lock, a scroll lock, and a windows lock. So the accent around the keyboard is not metal or the keys is not metal, it is plastic. I don't know how good that will stand up to time. This is plastic, the other models I believe are metal. So if, you're, if you don't want the plastic to eventually start chip away, then you might wanna invest a couple extra dollars and get the more um, high-end version that ASIO makes. And the keys, the keys they come off very easily. I guess if you need to replace it, just pull it out. And the keys are plastic as well with the same accent around it, the same color accent around it, um, but they're all, they are plastic also. And on the back side, the top two feet on the back side, they rotate, let me see if I can show this to you. They, ro they rotate and extend out. And when it's as far as it can go, they'll click into place. It is a nicer feel to it. You have it tilted a little bit. I, I like it like that a little bit more. The only thing that is bothering me right now is if I can do this over, I would have got the all black version simply because the wrist pad goes better with one of the um, keyboards that have some black in them. If they would have made this in white, I know it got it got real dirty real quick. Maybe they could have made a wrist pad made of leather or some fake leather or whatever that wouldn't get dirty so that if you did get one of the keyboards <clears throat> that have the white look to it, then you could have a matching wrist pad. I think Azio could redo that and think that over and come up with something else that it, it looks a little bit cleaner it flows a little bit better on your desktop this keyboard is already nice enough it's very nice very clean looking but you get this i think from me personally you get this for um the look one of the reasons one of the reasons why you get this is for the look so to have a black wrist pad and a white keyboard it, I don't know, it just throws it off to me. So, Azio, they do make two other typewriter-inspired mechanical keyboards. You have, you have the Retro Classic USB, which goes for about $189, and I believe the price is higher because the accents around it, they're actually metal. And then you have the Retro Classic Bluetooth. Now, if I could have done it again, the Retro Classic Bluetooth and the Classic USB, they are backlit. The MK2 is not backlit. And the Retro Classic Bluetooth, you can switch it, let alone it being wireless, um, which is a nicer touch. You can be more on the go with that one. Um, but you can also switch that one from Windows to Mac, depending on what operating system that you use. So that's a nice touch. To be honest with you, I should have got that one and I might just return this one to get that one. And another thing, for the keyboards that are just specifically for Windows and not Windows and Mac, it still works on a Mac. They still work on the Mac. The only difference is, most of these hot keys will not work. So if you do like the colors of the MK Retro and the Retro Classic USB, but, and they just don't have a color that you like in the Retro Classic Bluetooth, this still would work on a Mac operating system. Just the hot key functions at the top would not be operational. Um, so that's something to pay attention to if you do plan on getting the MK Retro or the Retro Classic. So overall, I would recommend this keyboard. It's a very nice, very clean looking keyboard. Is it for gamers? I was watching a video. I'll put the YouTube card right here. I was watching a video. This guy, he mentioned that this keyboard is not particularly designed for gamers, but he did say it does have a very quick response time. Um, response time 
compared to actual gaming keyboards were, were pretty similar. I didn't really understand what he was saying, talking about the specs. All I know is that he said that the response time was comparative to uh, a gaming keyboard. So that's all I have for you people. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to comment, like, share this video. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, my goal right now was to get to 100 so I can get that link in Instagram. Oh, you know what? I'm not even looking at the thousand mark because to be honest with you, that seems so far off right now. Um, so my goal right now is 100 subscribers. So if you can, if you get this far in the video, hit that subscribe button. You obviously, you obviously like something that you've seen. My name is Nicholas and I'm out. Peace.